Welcome to another live edition of the big interview here on SportstownChicago.com. WICB, Rick Camp here with the one, the only, Lori Cease. And we have another very special guest with us today, previously live on SportstownChicago.com. We have had on Lisa Lapira of Fox's Traffic Light. We have another great Fox guest with us here today. He has been in Reaper. He has a recurring role in V. He's been in that 70s show, The O.C., Orange County, among others. And now he's going to be in the brand new Fox comedy, Premiering April 6th, right after Idol, 8.30 Central Time on Fox. We have Brett Harrison with us. Brett, how are you doing today? Thank you. That was that was quite an introductory. Thank you so oh, much. You. <laughs> yeah. I, it's good to see, you know, everybody loves the roles that you have had. To get to see you in, in Breaking In, I guess, tell everybody out there a little bit about Breaking In and your character, Cameron. Yeah, Breaking In is about a security company. We work for Contra Security, and we are hired to actually break into places to make sure that there uh, that there's no security breaches in various companies. And uh, this actually does spawn from a from a, a documentary film that the the showrunner was creating at the time. And there are these real companies that uh, are hired to make sure that there's not security breaches in in various you know securities. That's so, kind of, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the office has, you know, they work for a paper company. Yeah. Well, we work for a security company. But uh, the, the difference is it's kind of like the A-team mm -hmm. meets the office. Every week there's a mission, there's a caper that we go on, and we, uh, yeah. we uh, you know, break into stuff. So it's a lot of fun. How does your character Cameron fit in? I know, obviously, Christian Slater is kind of the... The, the main focus of the show, but really, I from watching the previews, I love that you're kind of, as you mentioned in a, in a preview video, I guess, where just you're kind of the eyes of the of the viewer. Yeah, yeah, I'm the I'm the new guy to the office. So uh, again, if you've ever been new to to a new job or whatever, this is him kind of coming into this world. So I guess I kind of say that because uh, you know people, I think or I hope, will identify with Cameron. Because you know he's he's being put upon. He's kind of wily coyote running around the office trying to put out fires, and uh, Christian Slater is playing Oz, which is uh, Cameron's boss, and he's you know he's kind of crazy, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, I think it's a really fresh new sh uh, fresh show. It's it's tonally it's really cool. We have a lot of cool directors working on it. And, um, you know, it's like we're shooting a little mini movie every week. Even though it's a comedy, it feels like we're shooting some really, really cool stuff. <laughs> um, now, supposedly you took dance lessons as a child. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Now, what type of dance lessons did you take? I was, you know, I took some, like, hip-hop classes. And I, uh, you know, I did a little bit of everything. I was, I was... <laughs> I'll always say that um, I, I was I was more in tune with the arts, even though I did play mm -hmm. sports. I, I I like played football because that's what you were that's supposed to do. Right. That's what you had to do. But I was like secretly going off and doing theater around Portland or or taking dance classes. And uh, yeah, I'm not shy. So did you like I'm, I'm a manly dad. Look, Bo Jackson <laughs> took dance classes. That's, that's true. <laughs> Most athletes do take dance classes. Now, you said you're from Portland, Oregon. Your mom's name is Lisa. She's yeah. a special education teacher. Yeah. Your yeah, well, you got, I feel like, <laughs> uh, are you from the I, CIA? I, I, I told you, she's a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I am from the, no, look it up on IMDb. Anybody can find it. I know. I need to really update that. Yeah, you probably might want like to other creepers. <laughs> Anyway, so your mom's name is Lisa. She's a special ed teacher. Your yeah. dad, like my father, his name's Michael. He's a pharmacist. Now, do you think you get your creative talent from either of them, or do you think you're kind um, of the black sheep in the family? You know, I, I I would say that I get if I talent is such a funny word. Uh, I get my you know showmanship or whatever you want to call it from my probably my grandfather on my mom's mm -hmm. side. He was he was really funny and he was you know always the life of the party. Joking around with everybody. Kind of like your character Danny from the OC, right? Danny, yeah, big funny big guy. Big jokester. Big, big jokester. Funny guy. Yeah, but he, wasn't necessarily, you know, he he was he was lame in his comedy, but he was. He, but that's what made yeah. it funny. That yeah, was, it was exactly. hysterical. <laughs> it was hysterical. Now working with Adam Brody, he's a good friend of yours. Yeah, right? yeah. And the two of you are in a band together. Is the band still together? Big Japan. Uh, big Japan. We we still play. You know. Um, you know, for fun, but uh, when I went off to Vancouver and worked on Reaper for a couple of years, it was hard to keep the band together. But again, it's always fun to get together. And, you know, if you have a bad audition, you just want to get together, you know, put, play the guitar, bash on some drums, you know, take some hate out on, on your... On, 
your 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 yeah. fellow casting director. If you of course. <laughs> Now, of course, being on a comedy, I always love to ask people, who's the biggest jokester on the set? Or are you guys, you know, is oh, it man. pretty nice and evenly distributed? No. I mean, it, it's, it's the, the set is so fun. I mean, this is one of the uh, most fun shows I've, I've ever worked on, but we have some crazy comedians <laughs> on, our, on our show. Um, one being Michael Rosenbaum, and I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Smallville, but mm -hmm. uh, he played Lex Luthor, and he is now playing Dutch. Uh, minus the bald cap, and he has crazy spiky faux hair, and he's yeah. he's really funny. He, and he's a big fan of 80s music, constantly trying to get me to go to like Michael McDonald concerts. Oh. And, uh, he's just so God. he's hilarious. He's please really, tell me you've resisted so far on that one. <laughs> what? I'm, please tell me you've resisted on the Michael uh, McDonald. Actually, concerts. I you know I would have gone, but uh, the day he actually asked me, I was. On, on my way here to do publicity for the show, which is what yeah. I should be doing, right? To right, get people yeah, to watch. Exactly. <laughs> and that show is coming out. It's free. It's uh, breaking in, April and 6th. you're being Cameron Rice, which is your birthday, right? Yeah, yeah. April sixth. So cool birthday 30. present, huh? Yeah. I say, do you have any big? Uh, do you have any big plans for what you're going to be doing? Birthday? I mean, most likely we'll be working. Yeah. I'm assuming we'll be working. Well, I know we'll be working, but hopefully they can pull a TV aside and we can have a, a little mini celebration during a lunch or whatever, yeah. and then back to work. You know, oh, so, to work. Happy but, yeah. birthday. Eat your cake. Don't go to work. Yeah, please watch though. April 6th, 8.30. Now, I have to tell you, Brett, there's something we like to do here on SportsSoundChicago.com. We like to put our guests in the 30-second hot seat. Oh, that's fun. All right. So <laughs> we give you a couple questions, and I want you to answer them as quick as possible. Okay. And, um... As tastefully as possible. That's no say. fun. That's okay. I don't well, so you, no, you asked me a, a really hard question. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, okay. All right, so first well, question on the hot seat. What's your nickname? Uh, Booter. Booter? Booter. Where does that come from? Uh, I was very uh, chubby as a, as a little baby, so I kind of looked like a little mini Buddha. Oh, and so then from Buddha came Booter somehow. So, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Now, what is the one movie that makes you cry? Uh, the Notebook. <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> or The Lion King. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's some good stuff right there. Everyone always yeah. says Notebook. Yeah. Everyone. Napoleon de Umo said Notebook. Did Lisa say Notebook? I think Lisa said yeah, Notebook. Cause, yeah, because then she got mad at, at I think it's also, it's like the go-to. It. It's the first thing that came to my mind. It's right. kind of like... You know, if they're doing a spoof on something, or if there's like a joke in a big comedy movie, they're pr and they're crying, they're probably it, watching the Notebook. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. It's the first thing that came to my mind. Absolutely. Now, what are three words to describe you? Um. Hmm. Well, that's two. Uh, confused mm -hmm and confused. <laughs> there right? you go. Um. Mm, confused. Perfect. There we go. And what is the one thing that you cannot live without? My fiance, Lauren Zellman. Perfect. Yeah. Good answer. I yeah. hope she's you probably, listening. Yeah, I would say you probably that. said that because she's listening, yeah. right? <laughs> Can I add a second? My, my yeah. bulldog, Matilda. Okay. Yeah, English yeah. bulldog or yeah. American bulldog? English bulldog. All right, right. there we go. Fatty Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now, here is the one question that causes lots of controversy here on uh, SportsTownChicago.com. Who would win in a fight? Polar bear, lion, or gorilla? Probably a lion. I, I mean, I'm just saying if, if, it w if we're talking in... Yeah. I, I, I think a lion would neutral, kill. On a neutral playing ground, we're not like on an iceberg or something. <laughs> no, no. Like, on a neutral, playing. if we if, yeah. if they were on the studio, definitely right. a lion. A lion's a little more stealth. Stealth. Yeah, a little stealth can you know sneak around. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Take it. All right, Brett. Well, I, I want to thank you so much for coming out here to the wonderful uh, campus here, the Illinois Center for Broadcasting here in Lombard in the SportstownChicago.com studio. Once again, everybody, breaking in April 6th on Brett's birthday, 8.30 Central Time. <laughs> oh, and because oh, it's, and a, it's a sports radio station, yeah. I just wanted to add that Jimmy Johnson is is guest starring, and he does quite well. He's quite the improviser. So yeah, Jimmy Johnson, NASCAR. Do you guys ever talk NASCAR? We, we do. I, I think we actually have a NASCAR <laughs> show possibly in the works as well for the station. Uh, now, you well, before we went on, we were talking about Twitter. Where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, Brett, with one T, underscore Harrison. So, yeah, awesome. follow. Cool. Awesome. Once again, breaking in, 830 on Wednesday, April 6th on Fox. Make sure to... Tune in, and once again, if you want to do what Lori and I are doing here, being on radio or TV, give the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Call at 630-916-1700 or check out the school's website at beonair.com. Now we are going to get you back to your normal programming here on sportstownchicago.com.